To give you a brief introduction to the uh, idea of the workshop, we run a group in London called Ultra Futures, and the idea is that we're looking at uh, new ways of kind of alternative ways of constructing the future. We were focusing on South Africa because um, we're from there. So what we're really fascinated by is how this idea might apply to this workshop and this notion of Afro futures. So we wrote a brief for a story based on lots of interviews that we did in South Africa and got Rich Poplack, who's um, an investigative journalist, and he's writing a book about the relationship between Africa and China. And yeah, we sent him a brief and, and he yeah. wrote this story. And today we read that story out to the group and then asked them to design objects um, from this story to kind of populate it and make it more tangible. Yeah. So the four objects they had to make for the workshop were a bioprospecting mm. device and it would be used to collect samples from the the frame boss and other yeah. sublins. Yeah, so, so they're pollen samples and seed samples. Which they would then take back to the laboratories mm. to go and start engineering and turning into new products. The second group were tasked with making a dream device. Yeah, and the dream device was based on uh, the Costa Dream Route, which is called Ubalao that can be applied to the body and induces intense dream states and a kind of connected state among people. And then our third device was a communication device and it was basically that if you are existing as a kind of human internet with this uh, uh, mental kind of telepathic connection between uh, members of the community then there needed to be a device that would help you to navigate that. And the final device mm. is a weapon. So the kind group of, today mm. who made this weapon um, it's a mirrored device so it can yeah. actually fight off both um, physical and mythological attackers. Yeah.